Uh, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to, uh, well, the final Eskimo show before Eskimo football season begins. One week from today, yes. uh, we will be uh, in Spruce Grove watching the Eskimos <laughs> on the first day on the field, and these two guys will be on the field. This is a show I have been trying to set up for maybe two years. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> We have uh, Odell Willis turn and up, Darius Bowman yes, in yes, studio yes, for yes. the full hour on the Eskimo yes, show yes. today. How are you doing, guys? Doing, doing great. Doing great. great. Glad to be here, Morgan. Do you me- Darius, I started with you, I think, yeah. two years ago, trying to get you to come in. Oh, yeah. And uh, just never jived, just never came never together. Never jived, but uh, the time is now. The time is now. The time and, is now. And uh, then uh, one time we're talking, you said, I'll bring Odell with me. Gotcha. And I said, hey. Got to have my guy with me. There man. you go. Okay. Yeah, now, yeah. you guys are roommates now, too, right? Yeah. Yes. And we will definitely talk about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I, would think, I think the stories are going to get legendary as you guys. Uh, legendary oh, is man. not the you word. You need another word. I'm about to say legendary is you not the word. You might want to put epic. <laughs> uh, all right. First, How's the offseason for both of you? For, uh, Darius, you go first. Where'd, uh, man, where'd you spend been, it? Uh, it's been great. I spent most of it here. You know, I did go home and uh, see my family uh, right after the the season. Uh, I guess I seen my guy in Atlanta. A lot of us be back in Atlanta, Georgia. But, uh, yeah, I went home and seen the family. Came back here around February, and I just been uh, – we moved into our place, just been training, doing a lot of work around the community, getting ready for this season. Odell? Uh, you know me, I went back, you know, once the season over, had a lot of options. So, you know, I was just trying to get situated with that. And, you know, like I said, I already knew plan, what plan B was and was coming back. You know, I just wanted to get a shot. I mean, who won, you know, to make millions of dollars. So, you know, I did that once that was over. I mean, we called, did the deal in January. And everything else was history. Bought me a truck. As soon as I got it, as soon as I got it, I drove it all the way back. A day and a half. Day and a half. Day and a half. Nice. I drove from Atlanta to Winnipeg and from Winnipeg to Edmonton. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah. Scenic route. Scenic road or uh, like I wish it was a scenic <laughs> road. You didn't see much. Man, yeah, once once I left once we left Nashville and got to Illinois, from Illinois it was just flat grounds all the way to Edmonton. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, now you're all set. You, you you both came here and moved in together. Uh, you guys, I was looking at your at, at your histories. You both got Winnipeg on your resume. You both got Saskatchewan on your resume. Uh, you both have Edmonton on your resume. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was you have Calgary too, Odell? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. But was it all at the same time? Were you guys in Winnipeg and Saskatchewan yeah, at the same yeah. time? I remember uh, the day Odell showed up in Winnipeg. Man. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was it was it was it was heartbreaking. I mean, but you know, it was a learning lesson because you know I showed up Winnipeg. I mean, not Winnipeg, but Calgary. Oh nine, you know. Finally got a chance to play. My first game ever playing was against Winnipeg. Got my first sack uh, against LaFleur's. And, you know, everything was taking off. I'm leading the league in sacks as a rookie. And then next day, you know, bottom of the headline, you've been traded. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm, and at the time, the guys I hung out with was uh, Juwan Simpson, Kenyon Rambo, and Brandon Browner. So we sitting around watching Monday foot Sunday football, and they looking at me. I'm looking at them like I've been with y'all the whole time, so <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So it was boom off the Winnipeg, and I'm like, uh, this team's last in the league, and it's like man, I don't even want to be here. <laughs> and the first person I end up connecting with is this crazy guy right here because I got over there. I didn't want to be over there. It was snow up to this high. They was losing, so I'm like, I don't want to be here. And yeah. I didn't speak to nobody, so I was, he, 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 he didn't want to be there. And next thing you know, you're the mayor. Yeah, he didn't talk it out. From so, from my view, it went from uh, seeing this guy on TV doing these spin moves. If you remember when Odell first came into the yep. league, they was big on that spin move he was doing. So, mm-hmm. and next thing I know, he was in our locker room. So I'm like, uh, I think that's that guy, you know. And uh, I never forget Odell came in. He used to have like a little uh, a little speaker box. He kept with him, I guess, a personal speaker, you know. And uh, for some reason, he got put over in the receivers' corner. <laughs> you know, most defensive guys was like on the other end of yeah. the locker room. Uh, so he was put over in that corner, and I remember coming in early and every morning. Uh, we had the locker room music, but then Odell had his speaker that like was way louder than <laughs> like, anything in the building. So every morning he was. Uh, he was playing that music, and like you said, at the time, we were having a rough season, but we was having fun over there. That might have been a bad thing, yeah. but uh, we was having a good time <laughs> over there, so the music got me going. But uh, on the other hand, I had all our guys like uh, January, all the uh, veteran guys on our team was looking at me like, AD, make the make the new dude turn the music down, you know? And I'm like, I, I appreciate the music, you know? Let's get my morning started. So uh, it kind of started as the team not really embracing Odell, and uh, everybody was really trying to get him out of there, but... Uh, Man, he learned. He ended up being one of my best friends. Man, we're still good now. So uh, it's crazy how life how life do things. So you met for the first time in '09 in Winnipeg. Yeah. Right? All right. And then you got traded. 
to Saskatchewan. Uh, well, nah, first, let's let's, let's not jump ahead first. Oh, <laughs> you said last place, snow up to here, uh, but it turned out pretty good. You ended up going to a Grey Cup game in Winnipeg. Yeah, I mean, it was a wonderful ride. Like, the, the journey I had in Winnipeg taught me life lessons on mm-hmm. and off the field. Like, I made a lot of mistakes over there. Like, I mean, I had fun and I did my thing on the field, but it, if I could go back, I would change like a lot of the things I did as a professional. You know, mm-hmm. just seeing being around the professionals of the games of like people like Doug Brown and you know people having like people like Coach uh, Harris, Richard Harris in your corner to like, you know, to show you and you had people to tell you how to you know actually be a professional. But you know, at that time, mm-hmm. 24, 25, mm-hmm. I'm in a new place. I'm trying to party. I'm trying to party. I'm trying to party. Like, I mean, I feel like I'm doing what I got to do on the field. Why should I care about what I do off the field? And, you know, I wasn't grasping that concept at the time. And, you know, you know, we had some fun over there. Actually, this guy's birthday party was like one of the best nights in Canadian history I ever had. Like, (laughs) epic. We need I'm enough. afraid to We ask. need another show to talk about. That. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Late night. Probably yeah. late at night, yeah, too. Like yeah, four in the morning. It was epic. Yeah. Like, the best night hands down in my Canadian life. <laughs> you was... uh, you mentioned Richard Harris. Uh, yeah. Were you in Winnipeg when he passed away? Yes. Uh, I had just left his office, like, mm, well, not his office, but we had just talked after he came off the field for, like, maybe five minutes. And I had just got home, man. It was like, boom, my phone started mm-hmm. blowing up. And I was like, and it was like one of the weirdest things ever because it was like, I was just talking. He, and he, for Coach Harris to be in his 60s, he, he acted, his spirit was like yeah. a young guy. He mm-hmm. was like, was and the craziest thing I remember about that season after he died is like they put a picture up next to his office. And every time, like, you had to walk by the picture to get to, like, the team meeting room. And it's like every time I walked by there, it felt like his eyes was, like, always looking at me. And it was like more than me felt like that, but it was just kind of creepy. But it kind of made you feel good in a type of way because it's like 